Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the left, and today we're back with some more Starfield and we're heading back to Ryujin to give Imogene the good news and find Miguel, because I remembered where he said he was going. So let's get into it. Ah, alright, come on Lemon Pest, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, boop. Here we are, back in Neon, fabulous Neon. And where, where did Miguel go? He went to Enhance. I remember now, he mentioned that he was going to go to Enhance and um, get Enhanced. So let's... You're not Juan, I know you're Juan. Juan? You're not Miguel, sorry. You're not Miguel, you're not Miguel, and you're not Miguel. So is he in here? Been here okay. I just gotta say, Maybe you should I'm loving this new look. We Glad came. you like it. Watch Today is the first the day of a beard. brand new life. I don't want to screw it Enjoy up. Enjoy it. You all really don't know how much. Miguel. Do you have a new look today? Oh, no. Uh, Miguel, you. I think I look really sharp. You look kind of different. Okay. Hey, it's me, Miguel. <gasps> what do you think of my new look? Um, it's. Plus, it's. I thought you were just getting a tattoo. One thing to screw up. That was the plan, sure. But then I thought, why hold back, huh? Why not just go all the way? Well, um. Because you're still you. Thanks. What's your what's your what's your fiance gonna say? Um. Is it real? Well, yeah, of course it's him. Um. It's gonna take some getting used to. That's okay, as long as my Erica approves. That's Erica, that that's matters. her name, is it? Erica. Best thing is, my fiance is coming over soon to pick me up in the lobby of my hotel. I can't wait to show her the new me. Oh well, um. Well, the thing is, she 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 might not know. She I might not. Change my she life. might not. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. This is this is this is not good, is it? Is this our fault? Did we did we make Miguel turn into you know? My parents always thought it was too dangerous. This weird dude. What was the name of that guy? The contact. Wait. Miguel. I think we've still got a rented room here. Maybe maybe we have to sleep. Can we sleep? Ah, there he is. Miguel, what's going on? The worst oh dear. I've made a terrible mistake. <sighs> I mean... Hmm... I probably should have done a little bit more to discourage you, maybe, but, well, I was just trying to get you to come out of your shell. I mean, you don't look awful. My uh, fiancé was... Not happy about the change. She wants to call off the wedding. Oh God. Um. I mean, maybe I could talk to her. You, you would do that for me? Oh, you're such a good friend. I am kind of charming, so She's you know. Over at Madame Savage's right now. Oh. I'm just praying there's a chance we can work things out. All right, dude. Just, just take a seat. Have a, have a drink or something. Uh, not an alcoholic one. Um, Lemon Pest, we've we got to sort this out. We've got to sort this out, man. This is kind of our fault. And I feel a little bit bad. Erica, Erica, Erica. Who is Erica? Where is... Is this Erica? Are you Erica? Excuse me? Are you Erica? Excuse me? No. You're an outpost engineer. No. Sophia. You're Erica. It's not that the new face is bad. It's just not my Miggy. Oh. This is so unlike him. Are you Miguel's fiance? Was his fiance. Oh dear. But the Miguel I knew doesn't exist. Stars. Maybe he never did. Uh, look, how known how long have you known him? Honestly, all my life. We grew up together. That's why this whole thing is such a shock. Well, I mean, the thing is, um, I'm here on behalf of him, okay? Well, you can tell him the engagement Whoa. is off. I can't marry a man who's so 
so reckless. Well, I mean... <sighs> yeah, I mean, you should give him another chance. You did want him to be more adventurous. And granted, he kind of took it a little bit too far, but... I mean, no harm, no foul, right? And he could have it changed back, couldn't he? Oh, God, really? I know I make fun of him for being so predictable, but I didn't really mean it. Well? I've dated plenty of men who lived for adventure, and I always end up waiting by the door for them to come home. I never felt that way with Miguel. Until today. But isn't this a sign I don't really know him? No, this is a sign that, you know... When you say things like that, even if you're only joking, it can be taken seriously. <sighs> you know that he loves you, come on. That's true. And if he really did this for me, then at least it means he's listening. There you go. He's still at the hotel, right? I'll go have a chat with him right now. Yes, go and do that. Go and do that. I will go and speak to my, well, my lady boss, I suppose, and, um... Yes, we'll um, we'll we'll meet up later. Uh, lemon pest, come on. Hello. Okay. Imogene, hello. Hey there. Got an update for me? Surely do, ma'am. Um. That competitor is ready to learn the hard way. Good. I'll let our techs know everything is in place. Now, on to the next, right? Uh-huh. Go oh, ahead. but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. Oh, good. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. There you go. Masako was very pleased with the outcome, so she arranged the bonus through Linden. Apparently, you said all the right things when it came to Arthur. Quantum Synergies actually reached out to us to negotiate the potential deal. Well, there you go. Um. Hmm. Uh, well. Do I get a bigger bonus if the deal between Quantum Synergies and Reunion goes through? I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Ugh. Several other parties yeah. will be involved in that deal on a more legitimate level. Ah, oh, see. And believe me... Bonuses like this for operatives are few and far between. Really? How did the uh, presentation go, anyway? My sources tell me it was a train wreck. Oh, well, there you are. Once her numbers didn't match up, Arthur was all over her with questions. It didn't take long for her to break composure, and that's when she lost Zola. So you could say that presentation went perfectly, as far as we're concerned. Hence the bonus. Cool. Told you I'd run this place someday. Why did I have a feeling you'd bring that up? <laughs> You've still got quite a ways to go, so let's keep it real and get back to basics. All right. You can think of this next assignment as a stepping stone on your way to greatness. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let me guess. Brute force means we're going to steal from them. Correction. You are going to steal from them. See. Don't forget. If you get caught, Ryujin will deny all knowledge. Oh, but of course. But of course. All right, let's, uh, let's hear it then. Good. Luckily, there aren't many besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. Oh. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, can you give me some details on the Trident star yard? The Star Yard is a mix of sales floor and manufacturing. If you're looking to blend in, you've definitely got options. It's not too far, in Aquila's orbit, so hopefully your ship's ready. Always, always. Okay, well, they're gonna hate it when they find out the schematics are missing. The Trident Star Yard orbits Aquila in the Cheyenne system, so you'll still be in free star space. Okay. 
I feel bad for whoever gets to inform the executives about the theft of something so valuable. Just remember to keep things clean. The results are more satisfying that way. Well, of course. Uh, thanks for Digipix. Yeah. What's up with you? Meh. There's always work to be done. Face yourself. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. King of the jungle right now. I warn people. Alright, let's go and check on the lovebirds before we leave. Good lord. Honestly. So that is a very green jacket, dude. Very green. Okay. Will they be in the hotel? I think they will be, won't they? The freewheeling space type. That's me. Free bird. Yes, indeed. Okay. Oh, hello. Here we are. I should have never had that surgery. No. Nope. It's all right. Your friend told me why you did it. But you have to know. I adore you just the way you are. No. I know. But, but I thought maybe subconsciously you were getting tired of me being so predictable. Miggy, I love you. Miggy. And I would never throw away something special for the sake of something new. So please. If I'm it's not kind of too much to ask, can I have my boring, predictably bland fiancé back? You got it. Oh, hey! Hello. It's you. Yep. Oh, thanks for convincing Erica to come back to me. I don't think she would have reconsidered otherwise. Yeah, well. Eh, uh, do you know what? Yeah, it's no big deal. I'm not awful. Sometimes. All right. And that's the most important lesson of all. It's not about what you do, but who you do it with and for. Either way, I'm glad I met you. This trip would have gone a whole lot different had I run into anyone else. Thank you. Well, at least you lived a bit as well. We'll work through this. Well, good. I need to get some old pictures so the surgery's done right. Do you think you and Miguel will be okay? Yeah, I think so. There you go. This wasn't the first fight we've had, but it won't be the last. The important thing is that we talk it out and move forward. Okay, good basis for a marriage there. That's fine. Um, What will you two do now? First, we're going to need to get my old Miggy back. I know Enhance doesn't keep old records, so we'll have to eyeball it. They don't keep After records, that, really? who knows? It's a big city. And since we're already here... Yeah, enjoy it. Just well, be careful. It was good seeing you. And they are lemon pest. I'll tell you what. It was like an episode of Dr. Phil, wasn't it? Good grief. Alright, let's get out of here. Wow, you know, considering this is supposed to be like luxury star line, come on now. Imagine if I was an actual customer walking into this. It's just a mess. I don't really need the, the meal tray. I'm just, you know... Just, just sniffing about. Uh, all right. Welcome to Trident Luxury Lines. Oh. Trident. Trident. Okay. Where you can travel the stars with all. The uh, I believe we have a Everything. bounty, so we might as well, we might as well clear it. Yes, let's pay it. Local regulations prevent us from offering the service within Free Star Collective space. God bless it, Barbie. Well, okay? what's the point in having it? Can I talk to you? Wait, you're on the wanted list. Yes, I'm coming to pay my bounty. I'd like to pay it. To Where are you going to put my items? To... Smart move. Now come along with us. Oh. We'll take any contraband and stolen property and you'll be free to go. Where are we going? What? 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 Fucking bloody Aquila. Well. Where's my stuff? What have you done with my items, you, you, you filth, you scum? The Free Star Collective's got a reputation for being a little lawless. Well, do you know what? That is not. Take all. Yes. Ha ha. I want everything, all my things. How dare you? How dare you, madam? 
you take from me? You scum. Ooh, what's this? You see Captain's Log, Bal Balewa. Ooh. Most of the passages are relatively uneventful, but the final entry has an urgent, even panicked tone. I barely have time to dictate this. They need me back on the bridge. We were attacked by three cruisers, all bearing Freestar Collective markings. It was a coordinated offensive. They came out of the debris field, three ships, three different directions, three different weapon types, and then took off. We're nearly crippled. Munro can't even get the grav drive spun up. I can't believe my stupidity. Classic insurgency tactic, and I walk right into it. Jumanville Glen, Ong Than, Kal Kaldia, and now this. Great, in the textbooks for all the wrong reasons. Ooh. Wonder what that's about. I mean, curiosity. Yeah, don't mind me, just don't try and take my stuff again, because I don't like it. It's mine. I got it. It's mine. Is there anybody else in here? Hello? Hello? Oh dear, somebody had a bit of a tantrum. Never mind. Oh, it's garbage. Okay, well, um, yeah. Drunk and disorderly is our number one offence. I'm sure it is. Bloody hell. So, well, where's the ship then? Is it back up on that bloody space station? Ugh. I can't believe, can't believe they brought us down here, Lemon Pest. God bless it, Papa. Never mind, we'll, we'll, we'll go back up now. Well, we paid the bounty at least, that's off the list. Okay, <sighs> let's all just what? take a breath here. We all want to protect people from the Ashta. Okay. We're on the same side here. All right. Mm, the hell with that. This ain't the way things are done. Le and that's the end of it. With due respect, I have repeatedly explained that I do not need... Her mission. I, I came to you in the spirit of cooperation, but if this is the reaction. 20 years we've done this my way, and it has always worked. Always! Why are you trying to fix something that ain't broke? Whoa. Mr. Wilson, we can deal with the Ashta better, safer. We didn't turn down fire or uh, space flight because we managed just fine until that point. That's true. I will not be talked down to like this. Oh, God. Okay. Miss Alpin, please don't take any further action until we've had some time to think this over. All right? We need to be smarter. Oh, better talk to Davis. So this is Wills. All right. Um, right, mate. Friend, yes. I gotta confess. I'm not much in the mood for conversation. All right. I know. I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but... Well, I can't seem to help it. Um, well, I mean, it, yeah. What was it all about? Girl comes in here with her big ideas about how we defend our city. No respect for the way we've done things for years. No worries about the possible consequences. And expect us to thank her for making our lives more difficult. I tell you, I've never seen entitlement like that. Well, I mean, dude, the thing is, things don't get better by staying the same, do they? You know, and if you want to talk entitlement, you're acting a little entitled yourself. Um, this all sounds pretty overblown, to be honest, though. I mean, what are y'all, what are y'all I assure you, it is not. Ooh. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. Oh, I know. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years, again, for a damn good reason. We get it wrong... We not watching all the time, then the ash to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better than those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. Yeah, but what if her ideas might actually help you? Yeah, if security can be improved, isn't that kind of a win for everybody? Well, what is she trying to do, actually? She might be trying to do something really stupid. I don't know. Some technical mumbo-jumbo about sensors and behavior predictions. That's not the point. She expect us to just change up how things work, and I can't abide by it. We've gotten along just fine until now. 
But, well, yeah. If if it can be improved, then it's a win for everyone, isn't it? Mm -mm. That's a big if. And I'm not about to do a live test of whatever tech she thinks she got. Oh, my. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. What about that bank robbery, mate? What about that, eh? Where were you? Sitting here on your backside. Have no doubt in my mind. Where's your tea? That's all you're missing. A cup of tea. And there was me. Wading in there. Sorting it all out. So don't People try me. Around here think we own Where'd she go? The Ashton don't own it. They're just creatures. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an So... Obtain the schematic. Yes, we've got to do that. Defensive measures. Keone Alpin. I, I kind of want to see what she has to say. I know I said we'd stick with Ryujin, but I kind of want to hear this now. Hello? Hello? Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Oh. Something I can do for you? Um, hmm. I hear you have some new tech for defending the city. Uh, no. That's not really accurate. Oh. It is, however, slightly less openly hostile a reaction than I've gotten around here, so I'll take it. Good option. I'm not sure what you've heard, or quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job or open the city gates to allow Ashton to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. Yep. Yeah. Um. Got it. Makes total sense. Fantastic. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. Don't think you will. I could really use some help, in fact. Just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to place some sensors for me? Uh, yeah, why not? That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability. Well, that woman over there's just heard us discussing it, so you've had that. I wouldn't go up and talk to him again. Bloody hell, honestly. All right. So we just got to put these sensors here. Vigilance is what keeps Aquila City safe. Bank robbery, mate. Where were you? At home. Washing your tights. <laughs> and if you know what that line is from, or what it refers to, you're a real one. You're a real one. Okay, so she just wants us to place these around here. I mean, that's fine. We can do that. It's easy. Boop. There you go. We might as well do this while we're down here. And then we'll head back up. I'm saving up to see the alien extravaganza. The alien extravaganza. I have seen that. We should probably check that out as well. You know, just... Just for the lols, what are you three doing here? You look like I've caught you up to no good. Do you know what? That's fine. <laughs> hey! Alright, let's go and talk to her. Tell her the good news. We've put the sensors in. This is Distraction Avenue, isn't it? Poor Imogene is going to be waiting. He's really the heart of the Free Star Collective. All right. Hello. You got some good news, I hope. I surely have, madam. Your sensors have been placed. Well, that's that then. So this next part, it's a bit delicate. Hmm. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. All right. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. Oh, right. Oh, goodness. I really am bad at communicating sometimes. I have that part well in hand. The, uh, guard standing outside there, he's not gonna let me in. 
I need you to distract him. I should only need a few moments. So, I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Well, all right. So, this tower up here. So I've got to get the guard to disappear. All right, well, we can do that. I am the absolute epitome of Distraction Avenue. Hello, mate. You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet. You know that, right? I mean, I feel insulted. All right, what brings you to the wall? Boredom? Because if that's what you're looking for, you've hit the jackpot. Nah, I mean, do you know what, dude? I can't get into it, but I need a few minutes here alone. It's for a good cause. And I'm just supposed to take this on what? Faith? Yeah. I'm good for it. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Um, I'm glad you're starting to come around to my point of view. I'm still willing to talk. Okay. I really, I really do think you would help me if you could. Yeah, I hope so. I, I guess I believe you. Just don't do anything I'll regret, okay? All right. And don't insult my bald head. That's rude. Very rude people here. Is there anything else that we could, could we? Anything worthy of note in this place? Mortar, like a mortar and pestle. But there's no pestle. That's a candle. Oh, this is all just garbage. All right. Well, has she done her thing or what? I think she, she, she has. Or is she waiting for us to to tell her that he's gone? Ecologies are living things. They move. They change. The way we handle Ashta works for now. Okay. So we have to be prepared. Well, that's all settled then. Oh, good. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. Nah, easy. Um, if you need any more laws broken, I'm game. This is bending the rules, not breaking laws. Well, and it'll all work out in the end. You You'll say see. this. You say this. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. Well, all right. I'm going to go and um, commit another crime. All right, we're back. I'm back again. I'm all sorted now. All paid Maybe up. Maybe if I save up for a million years, I'll be able to afford a trident. Ah, it's easy, man. It's easy. All right, so we're after a prototype. Well, look at this. They're kind of funky. See, I want some of these posters in the ship. I really do. I think they'd be kind of cool. We need posters, Lemon Pest. Ooh, we got fruit. I like fruit. Okay, so we're after this prototype. Is it in Excuse here? me? Wow, what did you do? Hmm. All right. Oh, don't mind me. Lemon Pest, get in here. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, just, 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 just. Whatever you're doing. Crikey. Oh, here we go. Oh my god! Stupid things. Oh, I can't shoot them, can I? Um, do I have some kind of... Hmm. I don't. Well, that's kind of annoying. Bloody things. Can I like wallop them? Where are they? Where'd they go? Where did they go? Boo. Okay. D Ooh. Do we just. There you go. There's another one somewhere. Where is it? There you go. Take the tissue. Ugh. Heat leeches. We have to kill them wherever we find them, don't we? Just because, um, do you know what? Eddie, there we go. 
Um, I, I, I don't think we'll need the old, the old bit. Wait, wait. Ooh. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Thank you very much. Right through the grid. Okay. Oh, God, why? Here we are. And there you go. The world, the world will never know, Lemon Pest. They will never know. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Lemon Pest, will you get out of that you cupboard, man? Here? Yes, we do. Business. Yuzang Isaac. Oh, I am your sidekick. Your Welcome shadow, to Trident. Your tail. You are a strange little individual. Let's see, that's nice artwork, isn't it? We could have some of that in the ship. Is there anything else down here? Hello? Don't mind just me. Just making sure everyone feels safe. And I'm just making sure that um, everything is in order because, wow, somebody really likes plums. I mean, I get it. Plums everything are nice. Okay. I don't eat much fruit myself at the moment because fruit unfortunately has a lot of natural this sugar is where the magic and carbs. Happens. Now, dude, three onions. Come on now. Good God, I feel sorry for your partner. Sorry, I no, have that's... a lot of work to do. I mean, what's with the? Are you all just like? Yes. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Hey there. Do you know what? I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna leave, and we've got what we came for. I've seen enough. Can I take this wall out? It would look better in my ship. I could buy a ship, you know. Can I help you? Can I buy a ship? Welcome to Trident Luxury Lines, where we craft the finest and most luxurious starships in the galaxy. Oh, well. If you have any questions about our product line or would like to book a cruise, I'll do my very best to assist you. Ooh, cruise would be nice. How may I help you today? Um, could I book a cruise? Unfortunately, oh. all of our cruises are booked for the foreseeable future. Well, that's depressing. That should speak volumes about the quality of our products. Our cruises become more and more popular every year as new models are released. Can I buy Trident ships or parts here? We do not sell ships or parts at this location. So what are you? And it's not like you would have any use for parts or modifications anyway. A trident ship is already perfect as it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A trident ship's really all they're cracked up to be. It's a cracked trident to be. best in class, top to bottom. No. Clearly no. Deimos has fantastic missile batteries. Stroud Eklund's shields are a thing to behold. But what a trident may lack in those areas. It more than makes up for in style, luxury, and comfort. A well. cruise on a trident can be a truly life-changing experience. I appreciate your honest evaluation, yeah, that's good. Of course. It's a point of pride to know my employer's products, as well as their strengths and weaknesses. It's a character trait that is extremely valuable. And if I'm being honest, I have my own dreams of going out there one day. It's important to know the pros and cons of each ship, as I'm sure you're well aware. Let me know if I can assist with anything else. No, I, I, I don't think so. That was a little bit weird, wasn't it? Almost like threatening, you know. It's good to know their strengths and weaknesses. Well, all right, let's, um, let's head back to Imogene Lemonpest. Hello. I always say hello and he never says hello back. It's kind of hurtful. And rude. You have been sat out here doing no work. Every time I come up here, you're sat down. Parked on your... Dead air doing nothing. Imogene. Just the person I wanted to see. Hello. You got that schematic? I surely do, madam. Um... Yes, and, uh, well, I'm insulted you even asked. Please, you're not the type that needs to be babied. Nope. If it makes you feel better, consider it a formality. All right. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, 
Ularu wants to see you. Ularu, eh? I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor, where her office is. All right. Tell her assistant Maeve, you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. I never get lost. I am consistently in the right place every time. Can I go in here? No. Can I go in here? No. All right. Guess we're going up to the executive level. We don't need coffee. Let's go. Imagine and you call on it. Ooh, so fancy. Such a fancy ma'am. Oh, yeah. Very, uh, very nice squire. Goodness me. I'm sure you have, love. Was the single most stressful experience of my life. All right. Well, this is, this is, this is kind of interesting. Oh, these are all these people that we had the meeting with. Oh, hello. What's that? Okay, don't mess with it. Come on, Lemon Pest, we need to um, go and see the big boss lady. See what she wants. Hello? Hello? Can I help you? Yes, you can. Name an appointment. Eddie, I'm supposed to see Ularu Chen. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. Okay. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. All right. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. Yes, yeah, we're right here, Maeve. There you go. Good. It should just be a moment. Cool. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. Oh. oh. You know, if they aren't willing, that leaves us with only one option. God, Ularu, is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv. Because you're too good at your job. Now, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine. But you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Ooh, she kind of cut through. I kind of like that. I like her outfit too, that's kind of cool. It would look better on me though, Lemon Pest. Alright, well... Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Ooh, okay, Imogene. Hello? Good. Oh, jeez. You're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. Oh. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? Do you know what? Do you know what? <laughs> Seems right up my alley. In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do, and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Hmm, well, clearly Imogene has therefore got a 100% success rate, hasn't she? Because she picked Eddie, the best in the biz, baby. Bam. Um. Yeah, I've dealt with all sorts of people. I don't know how to get my way. That's exactly the type of operative I want. Someone who doesn't take no for an answer. Your contact is Simon Rychek. No. Oh. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. I see. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So, his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So, if you have negotiation skills, use them. Best in the biz. Um, yeah. Is there anything specific you know about him? 
Simon's been working with us for years, so he'll pose no threat to you. He wouldn't he's anyway. He's paranoid, which is why I assume he's never been caught. But his information is typically worth it. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. Oh, Lord. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one, because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. All right. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Um... It is kind of stupid, but whatever. Exactly. Just get what we need. Okay. You'll find him above the Lux Condos in Sidonia's Plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah. Do you know what, Alaru? You know, you know. We both know what this is all about. The thick boy. The thick boy strikes again. I'll get you info. Easy. Easy. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Shut up. I'll go where I please. This could be the most important meeting of my career. It could be. So sort yourself out. Come on then, Lemon Pest. I guess we're off to Sidonia. I kind of want to have a little mooch about there. Just a little peep. Y'all got a kitchen here? I could do with a coffee. Hello? Don't okay. cause any trouble. Shut up. Right here. Do as I please. That was not funny. You just took five years off my life, asshole. Oh. I'm fine. That wasn't my best joke. I'll buy drinks after the meeting to make it up to you. Oh, dear. Well, at least he's, you, you know. At least he's being nice about it. All right, let's head back to the ship and then uh, be on our merry way. Yes, indeed. Thought has just occurred. Am I kind of like a gopher for these people? You know. Go for the prototype information. Go for the external contractor. Go for the coffee. <sighs> Maybe that's it, Lemon Pest. We are not... Not but a gopher. I would like all the resource that you are currently carrying, my dear. Can I make myself a desk? Let me know if you want to talk some more. I don't. Not right now, anyway. Can I make myself a desk yet? I want a desk. I need a desk, actually. A refrigerator. But really, I can't make a desk yet. What the hell? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. Let's um come out of build mode. I'm gonna save and then if I take all yeah hopefully that crates all right because that was the one that I put everything in and hopefully it's not broken it's all right good god oh lemon pest don't be standing in the way again mate bloody hell he does it on purpose I swear to god he does it on purpose you do you do all these things on purpose you pain all right, let's let's have a look. Um, really? Oh, hmm. How very irritating. So, what do I actually need? Let's have a look, shall we? Um, a desk. I need a desk, please. Um, the, it, why is the desk on my? Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That was the one. So, so, oh, I'm already tracking the. Oh. Do you know what? Whatever, whatever. I can't make any posters either, which is absolute pants. All right. Well, let's just see. Can we? 
I want to know whether this is this is good or not. Ah. I mean, it took all my iron. It's a lot of iron. But, yeah. <sighs> this is a problem. A big problem. It is lemon pest. It's a. It is a problem. A real problem. All right. Well, I think we'll leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will probably, we might have to head over to um, New Atlantis and drop off these resources because carrying them about is a nightmare. And seeing as we can't have unlimited storage at our outpost, which is absolute twaddle in my opinion. Yes, twaddle, I'm saying it. And apparently mods screw up my entire ship, which doesn't make me happy. I'm going to have to come up with another solution. But, until next time, be safe, be good, look after yourselves. <laughs>